Hi, my name is Mr. D and today I want to take a look at proportions in right triangles. So we have in right triangle ABC the measure of angle B is 90 degrees and BD is an altitude. If AD equals 4 and DC equals 8, we need to find the length of line segment BD. So the first thing we could do with this problem is label all the information that was given to us. We know that AD is equal to 4, we know that DC is equal to 8, and we're trying to find the length of BD, so we can call this segment X. So there's a few ways to do this problem, but we're just going to make use of a simple rule first. We could solve this using the altitude rule. Now this rule is only, we're only able to use this when we have a right triangle and we drop down an altitude from the original right angle. So just to identify different sections, we have the altitude of the triangle, part of the hypotenuse, and the other part of the hypotenuse. And we're going to use these three pieces of information to set up a proportion. We have part of the hypotenuse over the altitude equals the altitude over the other part of the hypotenuse. So if we apply that to this example, we're just matching up the terms. 4 represents one part of the hypotenuse of the big right triangle. So we have 4 over the altitude in this case is x, that's what we're trying to find, equals, and now in the numerator, we have the altitude once again, but we don't know the altitude, so we're still going to call it x over the other part of the hypotenuse, which in this case is 8. Okay, so all we're doing is making a direct substitution. We have part of the hypotenuse over the altitude, so 4 over x equals the altitude x over the other part. So at this stage, all we need to do is cross multiply. So you have x times x is x squared. 4 times 8 equals 32. So to get x by itself, all we need to do is take the square root of both sides. And we have x equals, and the square root of 32, the goal is to find the biggest perfect square factor of 32, which in this case is going to be 16. And we have 16 times 2 is 32. So to simplify this, the square root of 16 is 4, and we have 4 radical 2. Now in the event that you forget this rule, Another strategy that you could use is to separate the two smaller triangles that are encased in the big triangle. But one thing to, like the reason why this method is a little bit trickier is the smallest triangle you have to rotate it on its side. So let's say we want to make the right angle in the lower left corner. Notice that if we draw both right triangles like this, the small triangle and the slightly bigger triangle, that when the right angle is in the lower left corner, that would place the leg 4 in this location, and we would have x in this location here. Whereas in triangle BDC, we would have x and 8. So this would represent triangle ADB, and this would represent triangle BDC. So now when we set up the proportion, we would be comparing the left side to the bottom side, 4 over x, and we would be setting that equal to x over 8. So notice that we get the same proportion, but when we forget the rule, we have to be able to turn the small triangle on its side in order to match up so that they're in corresponding locations. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on proportions in right triangles. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that this was helpful.